Hello, my fellow Magic the Gathering players. My name is Kyle, and today I want to share with you my Mono Red Dragon deck. I play Vintage Magic the Gathering. It's just my favorite format of Magic because I don't have to worry about which cards I can or cannot play with. This deck is far from perfect. As you will see, there's a ton of room for improvement and upgrades. I try not to spend all my money on Magic because I do have other hobbies to fund and there's also that little annoying expense of being an adult and paying bills. This deck does however still manage to win more than it loses. I am going to move fairly quick and I'm not going to read the entire card text. I'm going to assume you know most of the cards or you could search the card name online. The goal of this dragon deck is to overwhelm my opponent with big beefy flying creatures early in the game. Let's uh, take a look. I only use one non-basic land, Dwarven Hold, 25, I believe, mountains for my basic land, 4 copies of Shock, and I know what you're thinking, I need to get Lightning Bolt, just haven't got my hands on them yet, so 4 Shocks, 2 Crucible of Fire. Can't have a dragon deck without that. Three Geo Surge. Really allows me to get my dragons out early in the game. One Outpost Siege and one Dragon Tempest. Good little supporting cards. One Crater's Claws and one Cartouche of Zeal. And that does it for my non-creatures. Alright, supporting cast. Two Dragon Lord Servants. Two Dragon Eggs. Three Dragon Hatchling. And two Furnace Whelp. Alright, moving on to my big bad dragons. Slumbering Dragon. Two of those. One of my favorites. One Lightning Shrieker. One Shock Maw Dragon. One Akum Hellkite. One Skyship Stalker, very versatile card. Love that one, should probably get another one. Two Volcanic Dragons, my favorite artwork in the deck. One Hellkite Tyrant, good against someone who uses artifacts. One Ancient Hellkite, this is my strongest monster. And then last, but not least, two Shivon Dragons. Another card that you uh, need to have if you're doing a dragon deck. And that's all, folks. Shout out to my fiance Marcy, for letting me use her stunning Merfolk playmat for this video. This deck is a lot of fun to play with and generally does very well. As I said before, there is a ton of room for improvement like non-basic lands, lightning bolts, and better selection of dragons. If you have any suggestions for this deck or would like to share your thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and keep it geeky.